Welcome home, brave heroes. I'm Ash, this is Ash Quest, and if you've ever thought that looking at the same version of the Hero Quest map laid out on my gaming table might be a bit repetitive, well, I agree. And that's why I think it's time to update this and possibly switch it out from time to time. And so I must say goodbye to Ian Schofield's beautiful dungeon mat and say hello to Ian Schofield's beautiful dungeon mat, the broadsword. That's right, you didn't think I was just going to go to some other game systems map, did you? The broadsword features something that the last map on my table did not have, and that is accurate walls. The size of the walls on the previous mat, which is called Dreadmoon Rising, are one inch thick. They are essentially the space of an entire tile on the board. Which, as most of you who have tried to mess with the Hero Quest game system board know, messes with the offset of some of the rooms, particularly these three and these. This lovely neoprene mat is a three foot by three foot wargaming mat printed at inkgaming.com. I am in no way endorsed or sponsored by them, but I have used their service now, and I can say personally, Ian Schofield's beautiful dungeon mats print perfectly on all of the default settings. If you go to Inked Gaming, you can order one of these mats. They're about $54 a piece. You'll upload your own PDF. And if you have any of Ian Schofield's works, as long as it's a three foot by three foot design, it will print out perfectly. You won't get access to preview the file because the file that you're submitting is a PDF and they allow you to access previews of images instead of PDFs. So that will appear a bit broken. It'll look like you're not going to get anything, but rest assured, you will get a very beautiful gaming mat. And yes, with the Quest Jam quickly approaching, now we will be able to enjoy quests played on different variations of the HeroQuest board. I present to you the broadsword. Now this is a 36 inch mat, which does mean that you'll have this leftover space on which you can go ahead and sort your Zargon screen, your Hero Quest hero cards, whatever else you need. You have ample space all around, and for the space that's too big for your table, it will simply droop off the edge as it does with mine. Zero problems here. But that's not all. If you order two of these war gaming mats from Inked Gaming, you'll actually get free shipping. And I couldn't pass that up. So that's right. It was impossible for me to pass up Broadsword Reflections of the Elf Mage. Featuring the exact same accurate walls that are not an inch thick. This one inch standard being of the Broadsword variety. This is another map that has accurately sized walls. They will not be one inch thick and will not mess up your room variations. This beautiful mat was also by Ian Shelfield over on DriveThruRPG, and I'll put a link to both of these mats and actually Ian Shelfield's entire page where you can grab these PDFs for yourself, and a link to Inked Gaming, specifically the configuration that I used uh, to print these, which is just a wargaming mat, three by three, it's really that simple. And then $54 later, you have yourself a mat. I have zero complaints about the artwork on the mats. I think everything printed nice and clear, a little bit more crisp than the Dreadmoon Rising artwork, if I do say so myself. On these particular mats, they did come in with a bit of a, a, a scent, a bit of an odor. It's kind of like a manufacturing process thing, and it smells a little bit more like something burnt than it does that nice new smell when you first open a video game or a book for the first time. I anticipate that that will go away in short order, and for now, all of my stuff is to the centimeter, to the millimeter, accurately placed with all of your default one-inch standard tiles and miniatures, such as those found with HeroQuest. So these two boards, or neoprene matte versions of boards, should I say, are going to work perfectly for my HeroQuest playthroughs. So a big thank you and shout out to Ian Schofield for supplying me with more of his lovely creations and a shout out to Inked Gaming for getting this perfectly right without any pain or hassle whatsoever. Their shipping was also very quick. 
the whole process was just really, really quick. I think in the span of about one week since I placed the order, these showed up at my door. And so as a result, the Quest Jam Quest presentations will have a lot more variety. My Hero Quest solo gameplays will have a lot more variety. I'm just a really happy camper overall. So thank you all very much for watching. If you like this video, don't thank me. Thank my supporters who are at the end of the video and who make content like this possible. For more information on being a supporter, just go to Patreon slash Amalgam Ash. I hope you have a great rest of your day, brave adventurers, and bye for now.